to beckon me in, but it's swift. The, the reason why a moth is attracted to a lamp or a flame or the moon or, you know, is completely unknown. Um, so there's really loads of theories about why, all of which just got profounder and profounder the more I read about them. That when moths are out in the night, that the moon is a hole at the top of the sky. So for a moth, it's like, oh, it doesn't end here in this universe, like there's this exit where you can get, and it's day again, or you know, and how perpetually that could happen um, is really nice. Blow by blow, I've tried to tell you so. The new album's called Dear Lamp Love Moth. It's ten tracks of kind of storytelling, not really folk, but that tends to be the merest comparison. So I suppose it's got to be two years ago, I haven't worked it out, that I started the first track, um, which was Archimedes, which is the second track on the album. Say what you wouldn't give for a little less weight and a little more lift, but yeah you, can split a hair and make a big scene out of I think as well, like, it has to be said that these musicians were particularly amazing and patient and talented and... Um, I, I could really direct them to get anything I wanted. You know, they were capable of doing it once they got what I meant, which is actually the problem because I'm really inarticulate about, you know, it's like, how oh, can you go da na 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 na? And they're like, why is that? I don't know what that is. What is it? Da da na na na. And, you know, then it takes a sort of couple of minutes of, of miscommunication and then it's, oh, I see, you know, and then. It's a lot of that kind of process, and then we're, there's no notation, so I'd sing a, sing a part to somebody to, to play, and they'd play it ever so slightly differently, and I'd go, oh, yeah, OK. And, the, you know, so the the um, the sort of positive uh, things about working with musicians and not pieces of paper, you know. I think um, the, the writing process for me is a very solitary process. Um, and I like I've tried before and I can't let people in on it because it you know and good because it gets rethought and rethought and rethought, you know, it'd just be another nightmare. But where do the feelings go when they die? Cries a marionette to a hole in the sky. Will all I hold closest? You know, it's great sharing something that started off really quite a lonely process. It's nice to make it something that seems to be making people laugh. Like, and you know, when we have rehearsal, we're having a really good time, and it's not it's not just boring old me sitting there taking myself all seriously. So it's good. <laughs> oh dear. So when I was writing this one, especially. Um, yeah, especially a couple of the songs. I was actively trying to write pop songs, and no. That was the best you could do. Yeah, that was like, yeah, oh, it's only ten minutes. The heart, yeah, that was definitely actively, like, satisfying. I wanted it to be satisfying, and I wanted it to be, you know, the drums to be strong, and it to be this thing, and um. I probably, yeah, that probably was the biggest success story of, of trying to be slightly radio friendly. It's important, I think, to, um, to me to be putting myself into everything, which to me means doing it with my hands and with my mind or with my, you know, friends and you know sort of putting energy in um i think you see it and i think you also see mistakes and i really like mistakes i think they are something that is disappearing from art and music in the 